Hey kids and happy Easter Sunday. I can't believe that we're finally here after all this time. This is probably the most important celebration that we have as Christians, but let's just take a minute to talk about how we got here. So we started on Ash Wednesday when we had our service in the sanctuary where we put ashes on our forehead. And then that led all the way into this Holy Week, which we started last Sunday on Palm Sunday, where Jesus entered the town and everybody threw the celebration and they were throwing their coats down on the ground for him to pass over and palm branches on the ground. And they were waving palm branches and saying, Hosanna. And then we came to our Last Supper lesson where Lisa told us about um, the Last Supper that Jesus shared with his disciples where we get our communion from. And then we had our Good Friday celebration um, on Friday where we talked about Jesus being crucified on the cross and where he died. And then we entered into our three days of waiting after Good Friday, which led us to this morning. So let's take a break and watch our Bible story and find out why we're celebrating this Easter morning. Welcome back. So after watching our Bible story, do you know why we're celebrating? We celebrate because Jesus is alive. He's no longer in the tomb. He is alive and well. So right here, I have for you a replica of what we think Jesus' tomb might have looked like. So when they talked in the story about the stone, they roll it over the um, entrance there. And when the two women came back to the tomb, they saw that the stone was rolled away, right? And it was open. And was there anybody in there? Let's look and see. So I can take the top off of my tomb here. And we're going to look in there and see. And you can see there's nobody in there. Jesus is not in there. He rose from the dead, which is so miraculous. And why we rejoice that Jesus is alive. It's all like the song that we've been practicing for Easter Sunday morning that we're not going to get to sing, but you can sing it at home. We say, Jesus is alive, and then we celebrate it by giving high fives and shouting and jumping. It's something to get very excited about, that he is no longer in this tomb, that he is alive. So I hope that you'll celebrate that today. I hope that you have lots of family time today, and I hope you enjoy the egg hunt that we sent home with you. Even though Easter's not about eggs and bunnies and chocolate, it is about family and connection and talking about um, these things with your family. And egg hunts are a good way to um, bring that all together and have some family time. So I hope that you have time to talk with your family that's today about Easter and what it means to each one of you and how that you can celebrate it, not just today, but every day um, that you wake up and that you praise Jesus that he's alive and thank him for the sacrifice that he made for you. So I hope that you enjoy this Easter season. Hey kids, we have two crafts for today. Um, the first one is a spinning wheel that shows us everything that happens during Holy Week this week. So you're gonna cut these out in circles and I gave you a little piece of pipe cleaner here. You're gonna punch a hole in the middle and attach these two sheets together here so that it spins like a wheel. And then you can spin it to um, go through everything that happened this, this week. Um, so we start with Palm Sunday, then we have Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and then today, Easter Sunday. So this will help you as you try to remember your story and as you tell it to your family and your friends. Our second craft that we have is called a finger puzzle. Uh, they're called cootie catchers. They're called different things. But um, it's a little complicated to fold. So I'll send out the directions for folding it to all of your parents or grandparents so that everybody can uh, figure it out. So it's one of these. And you do your fingers like this. Um, I'll also send out the directions on exactly how to use this one and um, when I send out the directions on how to fold it but as you go through um, you can pull open here 
and it has uh, questions and Bible verses on how to answer those questions and it goes through the Easter story. So this is just something fun for you kids to do um, so that you can learn and you can teach others as well, which is what it's all about. So I hope to see you soon and I miss all you guys. Happy Easter.